Hello designers, today we are going to take up this image and turn it into an aged paper artifact like this. So let's get started. Welcome back to Gitsplorian. If you have never been here, I'm TD and I'm all about designing in Photoshop and sharing the process with you. Here we'll be discussing different tools, techniques and tips and tricks of Photoshop and also be sharing with you some design principles and resources which will level up your graphic design game. Now we'll be creating our canvas. I will be selecting a 4 size canvas and we'll be bringing in the image. I've downloaded this from pexels.com where you can find vast collection of Stroil Trophy stock images. I would recommend, please check out the website and as usual I will be leaving the link of the same in the description below. And now we will be removing the background of the image and for that we will be using the quick selection tool. But for the purpose of this video I will not be explaining the whole process of the background removal process. Instead I have made a separate video on background removal process of the same image which you can find in the i button above or in the description. If you want to learn more about background removal, please go and check out that video. And now that our background removal is done, we have our subject, we will be adding a filter. For that, click on the icon of the image layer and then go to filter and click on filter gallery. Let me zoom out to fit the image and now we go to the artistic folder here and select the cutout filter. Here we have three sliders. The first one determines the number of colors we want to have in our effect and the next affects the edges. I have already made another poster making video using the same effect and in that I have discussed this filter in a little more details. If you want you can watch that video also. You can find the video by clicking on the i button above and in the description as well. Play with these sliders and choose what best suits your style and when you are done hit ok. But the problem is we have lot more details in the image and I don't want that. So what I am going to do is simplify the edges and how will you do that? We will be creating a new layer and rename it Refined Edges. Then keeping the layer selected, we will take the brush tool and hold down the Alt or Option button. We will notice that the cursor will change to Color Picker tool. Click to take a color from the image and start painting like this. Change the brush to Hard Round Brush and continue painting to make the edge simpler and hide away some details. Here I want to mention one thing, doing this kind of work in Photoshop or for that matter in any graphic designing software, you will find it little difficult and time taking while working with the mouse. Here graphic tablets are very much convenient. It will save you a lot of time and you can achieve much more precision as compared to mouse. So if you are serious about graphic designing, I would say graphic tablet will be a good investment and it will not break your bank also as there are many good quality entry level graphic tablets at low price point. Ok let's come back to our poster. We will select the two layers and convert them into a smart object and rename it as subject. We then again go back to the filter and click again on filter gallery and this time we will select the poster edges effect. You will find the edges more prominent and a black border is added along the edges. We can adjust the edge thickness, intensity and the amount of posterization with these sliders. Let's resize and position as per our need. And now we're gonna need some texture images for creating the aged paper which I have already downloaded from textualabs.org which is an awesome website for getting different kinds of textures and brushes and the best part is it's all free. Just download them and you are good to go to use them in any of your projects and I will be providing the links of all the texture images I'm using here in the description below. Let's bring in the first texture and adjust it as per the canvas. I will be placing it below the subject layer and it will serve the purpose of a background. We then make a copy of it and place it at the top and change its blend mode to multiply and clip it to our subject layer. Bring the next texture on the canvas and change its blend mode to multiply again and repeat the process for the next texture image also. Then we add a levels adjustment layer and adjust the highlights and shadows a little bit. Let's add a separate levels adjustment layer for the subject. And now we will be adding a layer mask to the subject layer and select the brush tool. Foreground color will be black. Make the brush size slightly bigger by pressing left second bracket key and take the soft round brush, opacity and flow 100% and we will paint on the edges like this. Then we'll be adding another texture and resize and position it and this time change the blend mode to difference. We'll create a duplicate of this texture layer. 
by pressing control the command J and change its blend mode to normal and then we go to filter again then stylize and click on emboss. I will keep the height to around 5 and amount around 200. Feel free to change the parameters as per your preference and hit OK. And now we will change its blend mode to overlay. The emboss effect is all over the canvas but I don't want that. I want the effect to be restricted on the cold marks only. So we will create a negative layer mask of this texture layer. And how do we do that? Just hold the alter option key and click on the add layer mask button and you will see a all black layer mask created. Now grab the brush tool and change the foreground color to white by pressing the X key and paint over these areas to reveal the hamburger. Then we will be adding the last texture as we did earlier and change the blend mode to difference once again. And now we'll take up all the texture layers one by one and adjust their opacity as per our desire. Next, we're gonna add some color to the poster and for that, select the bottom mouse picture layer and click here to add a solid adjustment layer above it. And I'll be selecting a shade of yellow. You can choose whatever color you like. We then change the blend mode of the solid adjustment layer to overlay and adjust the opacity. We'll be adding some more color to the other texture layers in the same process. Here, I don't want the red overlay on the subject, so I'll be selecting the layer mask of the red solid adjustment layer. Hold the control of command P and click on the subject layer icon to make a selection of the subject and take the brush tool, foreground color black, just paint on the subject to hide. Let's refine it a little bit more. Select the subject layer and double click on the blank area of the layer to open the layer style dialog box and here we will be adjusting the blank deep sliders to blend our subject layer with the layer below it. If you grab the sliders of the other link layer here and bring it all the way to the right, our subject has totally vanished and I'm sure we definitely don't want that. So what we're gonna do is take it back and now hold the alt or option key and click on the handle to split it and slide one part to the right slowly to make the transition smooth and experiment with the other sliders to achieve the desired results. And lastly, time for adding the message of the poster. I'll be adding a line and put it in the form of a paragraph. So we have to make the path for the for paragraph first and for that let's bring in some guides and now take the pen tool and holding the shift key click on the intersection of the guides to make the path like this and complete to close the path. Then we'll click on the text tool and when you bring the cursor inside the path you will see the cursor is changed. Just click to add and change your text. I want the message to look like a handwritten note so I have selected the shade of blue to give it an appearance of somewhat written with the blue fountain pen. And we will again use the blended options to blend the text with the layer wing. Lastly, we will be doing some fine tuning of the poster. And with this, we have completed today's poster. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more amazing videos like this, remember to subscribe to my channel. To stay connected, you can also follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. Links are given in the description below. Stay tuned as I'll be back soon with a fresh new poster design. Until then, take care, goodbye and keep nurturing your creative spirit.